Wow, it's hot. I'm so thirsty that I could drink a whole liter of water. I'll fill a bottle of water and leave it in the fridge, so Mummy will find it cold when she gets back. Hey kids, how's it going? You're so lucky. You never get thirsty for sure. Water is a necessity that we need to live. To be healthy, an adult needs around two liters of water a day. But this isn't always exactly water, because we eat and drink different things that have water in them. We even use water to cook. We cook with water when making soups, pasta, rice, potatoes, and other vegetables too. Mummy uses water to make dough too. Even though it might seem like a lot of water, the water that we use for drinking and eating is quite little when compared with water that is used for other things at home. On average, we use around five liters each. Do you want an apple? I'm going to wash one. Shall I wash one for you too? A lot of the water that we use in the kitchen is used for washing. We always wash our food before we cook it. Then we wash our pots and pans after we cook. Instead of washing one apple under running water, fill a bowl with water and wash more than one at a time. That way, less water goes down the drain. You'll waste less water and you'll have more ready washed fruits for later. You can use the water in the bowl for something else too. I could use it to water a plant in our yard. Oops, I dropped them, they're so cold. Throw them in the sink so that you won't make a mess. Hang on, if you throw them in the sink, they'll melt and the water will go down the drain. That's good water. What can you do with it? I could chuck them in our dog's bowl. They'll melt and he'll have fresh water. Well done. You shouldn't waste clean water down the drain. Give it to your animals or use it to water a plant. Even unsalted water used to boil vegetables or pasta is good for the plants. Just make sure that it's cooled down before. But the water will be dirty. That's true, but that's used water, not dirty water. In fact, it will actually be full of nutrients from the food. Those are good for plants. I'm telling my mom about this. She always empties her pots into the sink before washing up. Ah, you mentioned the washing up. Can you tell me which is the best way to do the washing up? We have a dishwasher. A dishwasher uses around six liters of water every time, if it's set on the most efficient program. Whether you put one plate in the dishwasher or you fill it up completely, you will use around six liters of water either way. So tell me, what's the best thing to do? We should always fill our dishwasher as much as possible. So we wash more plates with less water. Sometimes though, we only have a few plates, so mommy washes them by hand. If you're washing by hand, there's no need to leave the water running. First, scrape off the food waste into the organic bin. If you have a double sink, put a little water with soap in one sink and clean water in the other. Wash the plate in the soapy water first, then rinse in the clean water. And if you only have one sink? Start with a little water and soap to clean a few plates and glasses. Then put them aside. Turn on the tap as low as possible and rinse them quickly. That running water would have filled up your sink a bit more so that you can wash a pot or a pan if you need to. What do you mean by turning on the tap as low as possible? A lot of people just use water without knowing how much they're actually using. For us to be water efficient, we should know how much water we're using. We can do this by measuring the amount of water that comes out of our taps, shower or watering pipe. How? All you need is a bottle or jug that takes one litre of water and a timer. You could use a mobile phone if you like. Put the jug under your tap, turn on the water, and then use your timer to see how long it takes to fill up. Our water efficiency rating is calculated by the amount of liters we use in one minute. So we need to use a bit of maths now. Let's say that it took you 10 seconds to fill the jar with one liter of water. In one minute, there are 60 seconds. So for every 60 seconds, you use... Six liters. Six liters every minute. Approximately six liters per minute is the average amount of water that comes out of our taps. But it's not the most efficient rate. If seven liters or more comes out of your taps in one minute, then that means that you're not water efficient. On the other hand, if your water usage rate is less than five liters, then that's efficient. The lower the number of liters, the more efficient the tap. I'm going to check our taps in the yard, the bathroom. The best way to be water efficient is to only turn on your taps as much as you need and only for as long as you need. You don't need to turn your tap on full and let the water run while washing your hands, for example. It's more efficient to turn it off while scrubbing. 
This water in the jug is good for boiling pasta. Then we can use it to water a plant. Super stuff. Looks like you learned quite a bit today. I better go now. I can hear your father starting to wash the car. Bye, kids! This project is part financed by the European Union under the Cohesion Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.